rape investigation has come to a close tonight. After three months of questioning, sifting through evidence, even some finger pointing, the district attorney here in Erie County says he will not file charges against Kane. But could Kane's accuser now file a civil lawsuit? And what about the hockey star himself? Could he fight back? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller exploring those possibilities tonight. Here ends the criminal end of the Patrick Kane saga. It's been called a circus, a frenzy, an elaborate hoax, and now the book is closed on the Patrick Kane rape investigation. This case had no basis from day one. Erie County District Attorney Frank Sedita announcing today in a written news release that he will not charge the 26-year-old hockey star Patrick Kane with rape and will not present evidence to a grand jury. In early August, a 21-year-old woman claimed she was raped by Kane on his bed in his Hamburg home. These serious allegations kicking off what Sedita calls a, quote, exhaustive three-month-long investigation. That woman is now pulling back choosing not to press charges against Kane. Oh, this is something that hurt, I'm sure, Patrick uh, uh, in the eyes of some people, and he really didn't deserve it. Kane's attorney, Paul Cambria, says the case has damaged Kane's image. The hockey star lost out on millions of dollars in endorsement deals, including being taken off the cover of EA Sports NHL 2016 while the investigation was in full swing. The case took a roller coaster ride in late September when an allegation of evidence evidence tampering was brought to light. It's a bizarre hoax and it's a dog and pony show. It was quickly dismissed by DA Sedita. It's an exceptional case that received an exceptional amount of attention before it ever really even became a case. Legal analyst Florina Altschiller has provided expertise to 7 Eyewitness News throughout the case. She explains more about DNA evidence in a rape case. So they look for any evidence that's corroborating, meaning that if a victim says that there was vaginal penetration without a condom, they would expect to find either skin cells or semen in the DNA kit. Last month, we learned from Kane's attorney that no DNA evidence was found below the waist on Kane's accuser. That's just one of the reasons why Sedita did not pursue criminal charges. He also says there are holes in the woman's story. The victim is my client. Um, I don't think that uh, there's any victim except Patrick Kane. I asked Kane's attorney, Paul Cambria, if he plans on filing a civil suit against the accuser. He tells me all options are still open and they're taking that day by day. On the other side, Kane's accuser also has one full year to file a civil suit against Patrick Kane. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.